YouTube. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mike, and I got a banger for you guys today. So, a so a couple videos ago, I don't know if you guys watched, but I talked about kind of my plan was since I wrecked my car, um, and it was either down to a ZL1 or waiting on the new 2024 Mustang. Well. After that, things kind of took a turn and I started to like another car that I didn't even really speak about. I started looking at them, there was some close to me. Um, one of them was actually in the, the car shopping video. Um, and then I came across one and I'm not gonna say for sure if I got it or not. You guys will just have to watch because like I do have videos built up so like you know, I stay consistent where you guys get a video every week. But before all of this, before I even told you guys, like my plan was to either get a Z01 or get the 2024 Mustang, I was calling, I probably called 20, 30 dealerships within, you know, my state. And about, it is, I'll just tell you guys the date. It's March 11th. I probably did this. I can look probably like two months ago, probably two months ago, I started calling around cause I, I wanted to be first in line. And so here I sit, you know, two months later, I get another car, which I kind of just told you guys, but I get a car and then um, it was probably Tuesday. It's Saturday. Um, it was Tuesday. I'm sitting at work and I get a call from a dealership, a Ford dealership, um, right up the road, like not far away from me at all. And they're like, Hey, you know, we're going to be getting two of the 2024 Mustang dark horses. They're only getting two of those. And I think, I don't think there's a really a limit for just like the premiums or the convertibles, I don't think. But I'm about to show you guys exactly the uh, the order form, I guess you'd call it. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys kind of like my plan with it. And one negative part about it is though, the dealership on the Dark Horse, there is gonna be a 10K markup which is really unfortunate and that takes a $60,000 car to like 70 and like I just really that's just not in my budget and I'm just really not wanting to spend that money I could but it, I, I, it's just gonna put me in a not a good good spot with um my money and I just I don't feel comfortable doing that so I could get a GT premium the track pack, um, that would just be MSRP. I'm looking at like 50 grand, which is less than what, not much less than what I got my car now for. So I really, that wouldn't put me in a bad spot. But um, I'm just gonna go, this is, I think this is for the dark horse. I'm gonna show you guys now. So this is what he sent me. This is the order guide. Zoom out, there we go. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll. I'm gonna go through each of these pages and you can just kind of pause. Standard equipment, magazine Brembo system, performance lining black. Nice, nice. I kind of, I kind of rushed the whole getting another car situation because now I have to sell this car and just go through all that, which kind of sucks. Will image coming soon. 19 by 10.5, 19 by 11, gloss aluminum, include dark horse package, handling package. 
Um, color offering. I had some about stripes on here too. Interior colors. Um, so that is for the dark horse though. So I don't think I'm taking that route. And this is the GT, yeah, this is the GT premium order guide. So I think this is the route that I'm gonna take. But here is the 2024 GT premium. The fat, the fastback, uh, the convertible, which I think I'm going for the, just the fastback coupe, which is my plan. As you guys can see, just kind of pause. I'm not gonna go down through each and every option with you guys just because, I mean, I think that would be kind of boring but they have like a Mustang builder, which I'm sure you guys have seen before, like this. I'm gonna do that on here, and then I'm just gonna kind of show you somewhat of the look that I'm gonna go for. I was also on this other website. They have some really clean ones, EcoBoost. I think that front bumper's nice. I like the EcoBoost front bumper. I like it right in here, it's real aggressive. Those rims are sweet too. Dark horse. Like, see, that's sweet. I definitely want stripes on mine. Dark horse. See, that's tough. That is really tough. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go, as we go down through this, I'm gonna briefly kind of tell you guys my, kind of my plans with it. Um, GT premium, fastback coop um i want the track pack version i want all the safety stuff functions like i want all that uh 19 by 8.5 shadow silver painted aluminum wheels want all that i want the staggered setup if they have that but um let's see i want the 10 speed I don't want the auto. You want to win races out here. Um, seatbelts. I'm f either thinking they had a gray option. I don't know if they have it on the premium, but they had it on the dark horse. A gray interior or um, they also had white. They had red. You guys will just have to go down and pause it. But um, I think I want... Either the red, I think it was Carmine, is what they called it, Carmine Red, or like a, a dark gray, I think would be cool. Let's see, performance rear wing, on all the ABS, stability control, tuning, upside reverse, all that. On the car I have now, I was looking at some new rims and I wanted to put like 305s at least. Equipment group, I want, you know, the best of the best. I'm gonna slow down. Pause. Pause. <sighs> do, 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 do. Let's see, here we go. Grabber blue metallic, Atlas blue metallic, rapid red metallic tinted clear coat. Shadow black metallic, dark matter gray metallic, iconic silver metallic, carbonized gray metallic, vapor blue metallic, yellow splash metallic, race red, oxford white. I think my plan is either with shadow black, just because I'm, I'm loyal to black, or the dark matter gray metallic. That sounds sweet. But... And then stripe, these are the stripe offerings. Grab blue, Atlas blue, rapid red. So basically all the same, all the same ones. You can just get them in stripes. G uh, gloss gray, semi gloss, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, fade. Available on fastback only, right? Wheel stripe package, hood stripes and side stripes. 
over the top story. I don't know. But, yeah, like I said, as um, you guys can just go down through there um, and uh, pause it and just read down through there. Comment down below um, what you would get. I'm kind of interested to see what other people other people would want or would like or would get but I really like the I really like the gray like the it said dark and gray metallic that sounds sick um shadow black I'd probably end up wrapping it I might end up wrapping it anyway so if any of these options like cost more I probably don't I probably won't get it but yeah I hope y'all enjoyed I don't know how many you know, things on the internet you've found. So let me know what y'all think about this. And um, do you think, you know, the should I get like a brighter color, like a grabber blue or something like that? Or I, I'm just really into neutral colors. You know, like I want to pop, but I also want to be like low key at the same time. And you guys haven't seen the car that I've gotten yet, but it's really bright. And like, I like it. I get a lot of attention, but I also like kind of like to be low key too. Ooh, like this gray, like something like that, I like. With like black stripes, that's me. That's my, it's still popping, still neutral colors. And like I tell y'all, I'm in like fashion and stuff. It, I don't, the car that I'm in now, I hop out. And if I have certain colors on, I am not matching. I will match everything with that. That's a weird like pet peeve of mine, but that's just how I feel. My car gotta match my clothes, you know? It's gotta be neutral kind of, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I should just, I keep saying in my head like, man, Dark Horse, like, because I feel like I could be one of the first to actually get one. Like, I really feel like I could be one of the first to get one. So, it's just like, but then it's like, man, you're gonna put yourself in a, not a good, you know, money situation. Like I could do it, I could make it happen, but it's, it, it would, it's just not smart. I'm trying to be financially smart especially at my age right now, going out here and buying these cars. I've been called stupid quite a few times, but I mean, at the end of the day, I'm doing what I love. So and I'm buying what I love, so whatever. But um, I think I should just go with the GT premium, get the track pack. Um, I mean, it's 14 horsepower and a different front bumper. Like it just doesn't make sense to me to do so. But please drop down below what you guys think. Um, I try to read all the comments. Um, I'm just starting out, so I ain't popping like crazy yet. But I'm going to manifest it. And like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one, and I will catch you soon. Peace.